Um, now, uh, Dutch Flemish inspired design. Um, it's hot, it's trendy, it's happening here in LA, in New York, but especially here in LA on that back room where all the event designers are. It's that loose, one sided, sort of boat shaped design you see all over Pippi, you know what I'm talking about. I call it Grey Gardens. Do you know what Grey Gardens is? It was that home owned by Jackie Onassis' cousin from Long Island. It was overgrown. The estate was known as Grey Gardens. It was Jackie O's cousins, I believe. Um, a lot of these images online, I think, are really ugly. And a lot are pretty. But as a professional designer, I can't do ugly pieces because nobody's going to buy them from me. I also can't put $500 worth of ranunculus and peonies in a range of this big. And those flowers probably last two days, so I don't use them a lot. Uh, for $500, nobody's going to buy them. So you have to think in terms of selling your flowers, right? So I'm going to do a loosey-goosey. It has influenced my uh, wedding and funeral work, though. I tend to make my wedding and funeral work a lot looser. So there's no rules to this one, no judging. Florist gone wild. I'm going to do it from this side so you can see what I'm doing. I tend to set my line flowers first. Wait a minute. Hold on. I tend to set my line flowers first. So I make a bit of a scale of where I'm going. Let's call it um, an outline. So I have a couple of uh, snaps. Uh, they are very three-dimensional designs, meaning they start way in back and come forward. This is not a flat church piece like for an altar. So you want to get something, whether it's flowers or greens, that goes way back here and comes forward. I also like to set some of my greens right away. You've got some eucalyptus. This design, they like hanging things. Normally we don't hang a lot of materials because it looks lazy and like it's dying. Anytime you go below the parallel, it tends to tell the viewer it's dying, right? Yeah. Like in a garden. So I'm going to set some greens in here, uh, like that. So don't think too hard and forget everything I taught you. <laughs> Just do it with your eyes closed, like this. <laughs> You'll probably uh, get the vibe. So I set a little green. Sometimes I use green, sometimes I do mostly flowers. But today, I'm going to do some greens, and I'm going to set some of my bigger flowers. And traditionally, in a flower arrangement, you know that this would be the focal point, right? The center, not in this design. This is Dutch Flemish, like an old painting from four or 500 years ago, before they had me in design classes. So a true Dutch, by the way, a true Dutch Flemish painting would have one hydrangea, one tulip, one rose, and what iris. Why? Because they used them as recording of new varieties of flowers because they didn't have photographs back then. So instead of shooting things, they would paint them. Um, I've done true Dutch Flemish ar uh, uh, arrangements in my life, but you rarely would say them. But in this type of stuff, obviously this would be the focal point, but sometimes they have their focal points facing backwards. What the hell? Sometimes they have uh, touching. Close together like that, sometimes they don't. So again, forget everything I taught you. We like even damaged flowers, wilty flowers, even that old world vibe happening. So there's my start. Uh, we love roses, of course. Roses are a very European thing. We're going to put some roses in there. I'm going to take it off the bucket now. We're going to put some roses in there. So every time I make one of these, it looks different, and it should. Because I'm not really following any rules. I'm trying not to do a traditional piece, although I do have to make it pretty, or my customers won't buy it. So I have two roses sticking together up front for some odd reason. Sometimes I group my flowers, like all my roses on the right side of the design. Sometimes I kind of hide flowers, which you would never normally do. We've got a couple pieces of stock. Right there, stick it up. And what else do I have? I have a second 
You know the look. It belongs in a museum. It belongs at a French restaurant at the side of the table. It belongs at the bottom of your staircase in the Hamptons in front of that uh, mirror at the bottom of your staircase. And I'm going to plug it, plug some holes. We like all these wispy things hanging. Like that. In fact, I am going to turn it around just for a minute so I can see what I'm doing. Um, Dutch Flemish inspired design by those old world paintings you see hanging in museums. They're all over the internet, all over Pinterest. And it's just a loosey goosey, viney, wild thing. Coming along, I get rid of some of the garbage so I can see what I'm doing. And we have a few more pieces to add, and then, so look at that, even broken, I'm going to leave that broken end in there. <laughs> then I'm going to add some uh, more green to finish it off. Add a little of this, it's called Grevillea. Yes, you should cut them, I tend to rip them. Break them. You should be cutting these. Actually, as you know, I use a red single Swiss Army. Did you come and buy one the other day? I did. Have you tried? Oh, yeah, I've <laughs> He nearly cut his thumb off. <laughs> Have you practiced with it at home? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Practice some more, child. Have you ever come in like this with me? <laughs> I'll know you were practicing. Uh, single Swiss Army night. So here we are. We're coming along. See ya? I'm going to pause there while uh, Jacob gets a nice close-up. There you go. I think I need just a couple more flowers. I'm going to spin it around, add a few more stems, add a little bit of uh, lemon leaf, and call it a day. My green and white garden bouquet. Uh, a couple of berries. Uh, I don't want those. A little more gavilia. Fly out left field. What the hell is that all about, you know? Try not to think too hard on this one. But again, I have to sell this. A lot of times they're ugly online. And I thought, well, who's going to buy that? It's got to have some prettiness to it. Like that. Say a little, say a little. Then, I tell, I say, I'm going to connect the dots using the great lemon leaf. It adds weight to the design, it adds thickness to design, lemon leaf. I know a lot of people don't use it. Well, there's your secret. Dab a little bit of lemon leaf and it makes it look more expensive because it takes away some of that air space between everything. Look at me, I'm printing it up because I've been designing for 30 years. I can't do I can't do ugly. I'm not saying these are ugly, but it has influenced my bridal and wedding work. My wedding work is much more gardeny and looser looking. There you go. Every time I do one, they look different. This is not my favorite one, but it's okay. It's awfully green and pale. But it's okay. It's for my, uh, it's for the pool house out by, out in, I used to live in Amagansett, which is near east and Southampton when I was young. I was uh, like the left groundskeeper there. So I got to hang out in the Hamptons for a summer or two, two summers. And go to the discotheques at night and lawn boy during the day. <laughs> and I did fire me, I wasn't very good landscaper, I think I lied. But anyway, I got to spend the summer in the Hampton in Hamagansett. So this will be out at the pool house in your sort of rustic little 
Peachy Schoolhouse. Got it? What do you think? I made it look nice. Yeah, it's supposed to look like a loose, overgrown garden. You've seen the look, right? Say yes or no. Yes. Yeah, you've seen it. Have you seen it? It's all over the picture. And everywhere else. As, here, do it as opposed to this one. The traditional. Go take a shot at that one. There's your traditional centerpiece. There's the look happening these days. I see people across the street all trying to do this. I'm going to sit in the five That's kind of that. Where, you know, that's where that one started from. Ooh, let's get rid of this. There. Now. Yeah. And it's very pretty for weddings. Again, it's, it's an entrance to a museum. It's the entrance to a French restaurant in New York City. At the sign in the banquet. Banquet. You like long trailing things coming out of it. Uh, and normally what I would do is we didn't have any tape, but normally I would do a concrete urn. So picture it in a concrete urn. Yes. Or a silver compote. So it'd be elevated high, but they didn't have them today. So we're doing this little ice cream cup. Uh, but normally, yes, it'd be in some sort of concrete urn. Or compote. Silver preferred. Any questions? I'm going to shut my eyes and when I open them, you'll be <laughs> I'm not going to critique this one. Do what you do. This is where you get to go wild. You, you don't have formulas of design. Two plus two equals fantastic. Now you get to do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> All right. Go. Begin. Flower School 101. Done.